Greetings everyone from the year 2021. It seemed like this year would never end, but it finally has, and there's been quite a few happenings in this last month that we'll be covering here. All the way from Javi and Sergio leaving until Cyberpunk's disaster of a release. Stay tuned because we're in for a banger. December has been marked in the gaming community by, of course, the huge fail behind Cyberpunk's fail of a release, but also because it marked the launch of Wild Rift in Europe, Riot Games' mobile version of League of Legends, that came and conquered many hearts right from the start. The plans are still very vague when it comes to a competitive scene, but who knows, this could be one more to add up on SK's roster. And regarding the mobile side of things, obviously this one is tough to say, but we lost in the grand finals of the Clash Royale World Championship. Championship. It's been a while, almost a whole month at this point, and it still hurts, but we couldn't help but congratulate our boys on a splendid performance throughout the whole year, and I ask that you send them your love through the comment section down below. In case you didn't know, CRL will continue next year, but in a whole different format, whereas teams are not, strictly speaking, confronting each other in groups, but rather as sponsored individuals. That is one of the reasons why we bid farewell to two legends in our ranks, Sergio and Javi who'll forever have open doors and our hearts too. Also, if this is something up your alley, we've prepared a video with a top 10 plays of the year for your enjoyment and also a farewell video to the boys that you should definitely check out right after this video. Regarding Brawl Stars, the story is somewhat similar to be honest. Splendid performance throughout the whole year, with a major finish as the best European team in the World Championship. And now it has come time to also say goodbye to our lovely YD and Achille, who've proven again and again why they're some of the best players in the world. On a more positive note though, so that you can just start wiping that nose from all the tears you're shedding with these farewell videos, our Brawl coach Pedro has won Coach of the Year for Brawl Stars, and it was extremely deserved. Once again, congratulations Pedro, we're super proud of you. NBA is still banging ever since we've joined up forces with our boys. We've made the finals in the 2k contest tournament, but ended up losing in the finals against Fenerbahce. We finished the IES Division 1 regular season as the second seed, with a massive 17 wins to only 3 losses, only to then make playoffs finals again and lose to Fenerbahce. And by the time I'm writing this, we finished up the regular season of the Shadow League tournament as first seed, having raked up 27 wins and 3 losses, made playoffs finals again, and will be facing Atlantide Wave on the 6th of January. This will be our very last PlayStation 4 tournament, finally moving on to the much acclaimed PlayStation 5 for the remaining of the year. Definitely a sight to behold these boys. Moving on to FIFA, before we even talk about results and tournaments, let's take some time to appreciate the fact that our jersey has been added to the game and that it looks just as beautiful as it does. So far in the regular season of the virtual Bundesliga, we've played 11 games, having won 6 of those, tied 2 and lost 3, placing us in an interesting 3rd place, only 2 points behind the 2nd seat. But also on an international note, the Club World Cup started in December as well. We have two separate teams playing here, namely Pry and FIFA Fico, who are representing FC Cologne, and then Stranger and Phenomeno representing SK. Pry and FIFA Fico have started out with a bang, finishing in the second seed of their standings. Unfortunately though, the same cannot be said for Feno and Stranger. They've lost twice, having then dropped to the second division. That being said, everything is still completely open for both squads, as the format rewards consistency a lot more than it does just sporadic wins or losses. And now finally, let's talk League. Starting out by saying that the Prime team has finally been announced. And in the LEC, the team took the first few weeks of December to boot camp with us here in Cologne, but has now been slowly on the way to Berlin since the start is nigh. The roster has been changed drastically, and we can't wait to show you what they can do on the Rift. But just in case you'd like to get no more of their personalities, here's Stinks and Treats having fun with Christmas sweets. You can and should watch the whole video that you can easily find in this channel. That being said, that's about it when it comes to December, and the whole of 2020 for that matter. Did you like this format of breaking down the events by months? Is this something we should continue pursuing in 2021? What changes would you like to see in the format? The floor is yours, but use the chat below to let us know your thoughts. And on that note, we wish you a very lovely 2021, or at the very least, something different from 2020. See you guys.